been thinking about Moses and his rage when he came down from the mount to find the Israelites worshiping a golden calf. It is a lesson about false idols, about the human tendency to worship the profane and shiny, to look to the small and material rather than the large and transcendent. What I want to say to you this evening at this revolutionary and historic Seder in the streets is that too many of our people are worshiping a false idol once again. They are enraptured by it. They are drunk on it. They are profaned by it. And that false idol is called Zionism. It is a false idol that takes our most profound biblical stories of justice and emancipation from slavery, the story of Passover itself, and turns them into brutalist weapons of colonial land theft, roadmaps for ethnic cleansing and genocide. It is a false idol that has taken the transcendent idea of the promised land, a metaphor for human liberation that has traveled across faiths to every corner of this globe and dared to turn it into a deed of sale for a militarist ethnostate. Political Zionism's version of liberation is itself profane. From the start, it required the mass expulsion of Palestinians from their homes and ancestral lands in the Nakba. From the start, it has been at war with collective dreams of liberation.